a beautiful night in Blaine, Minnesota. The Ottawa Fury getting ready to do battle with Minnesota United. Time now for the Summit Brewing Company starting lineups. First for Ottawa in 11 games this year, Romuald Pazer has seven shutouts. A change in the back four for Minnesota. Brent Coleman gets his first start of 2015. Yeah, it's been probably over a year since he last started. He did play in the USL Cup against St. Louis earlier on, but you know, Manny made a big decision to put him in tonight. He just needs to come in and do what he does best, win the ball's in the air, and when the ball's on the ground, he wins it. Give it to people who can play the ball with their feet and let him get on with it. At the Nessie, we're underway between Ottawa and Minnesota United. Keeps it out right. Wiedemann, he'll swing it in. Header and a save by Najak. You see Vincent Cheney, he filled in for him, which is what they need to do a lot more. Good first touch by Al Hassan. Good recovery though by Richter. We're in the 11th minute. It's Al Hassan with a bender and a goal! Actually offside was Daniel Mendez. He's the free kick here, he comes up. The ball's played. He's very, very close at the far post there. Men Mendez on the far post. But what a ball in from Al Hassan there. Al Hassan. Ibsen turns up field. Mendez into the penalty area. Mendez to the end line. Al Hassan saved by Pazer. Good ball from Calvano. Ramirez will touch. Oh, Christian Ramirez. This shutout streak is over for Ottawa, and what a way to break this. We've been looking for this ball for weeks from Minnesota to play through, and as Christian Ramirez goes through and volleys it over the top of the goalkeeper, beautiful play by Calvano outside the foot, great run by Ramirez. These are the penetrating runs that they've been needed to be making over the last few weeks, but they haven't been made. Ramirez, Bicentini, little chip, just a to touch high. Richter, he plays it in. Loose ball, scooped up by Najak. Referee blows his whistle and brings the first half at the National Sports Center to a close. Ayush Takio, good tackle by Coleman. Or it looked like from here at least, referee saw a different free kick Ottawa. It's Hallworth, well struck. And a wonderful save by Sammy Najak. Olves gets a piece of that, and if he didn't, it was running on to Ramirez. Good step by Davis. Justin Davis now for United. Out to Al Hassan. Back across. Ibsen! Beating it and waiting, waiting for Al Hassan to get on the outside here. He gets it. Cuts back with it, plays a beautiful ball into Ibsen. Just didn't get his knee over the ball, leaning back and slices off the outside of his foot there. It away by Venegas, right back to Haworth. He'll play it in again. Off the head of Alves. And a penalty kick has been called for Ottawa. A little flick on as he goes up to get the ball. Ramirez, he, he can't see the guy coming in over his shoulder. So he tries to clear with his boot. And he catches him in the face. I mean, that, that's, a, that's unlucky. But you have to know your whereabouts there. Comes over, gets flicked on. Ramirez, not knowing the defenders there, coming in, Oliver. Ramirez tries to clear it and kicks him in the face. Yeah, it looks like he got it pretty Took bad it right. in the face there, yeah. The nose is not the way it's supposed to be. And he puts it away, and we're tied at one. A 
really good penalty kick here by Heinemann here. His efforts have been rewarded again tonight. He's worked really hard. He comes up here, side foots it in the corner, sends the Jacques the wrong way. Pitch Colin now with it. Ramirez. Little redirect. And that hit the side netting. Quick restart by Al Hassan. Venegas. Little touch into the middle. Ramirez. Behind Campos. Banks. And the rolls just wide. Goal kick Ottawa. Out to Banks. Quickly surrounded by two defenders. Banks gets the cross off. Campos! The referee signals the end of the game. And after a physical, high tempo 90 minutes, the game ends. Minnesota won. Ottawa won. You know, I, I think we have some really good moments and we're not quite maybe consistently playing as well to, to really uh, push the game we want to, but we certainly could have gotten a second goal again. And I think that's a theme for this year. So we, we really, um, oh, there's some moments I'm really proud of the guys that we dug down, played some really good soccer. And again, we're just getting stressed about uh, when you hold these leads and, and how we can finish games out. So um, certainly the referee didn't help in the second half. I thought it was really inconsistent and kind of threw us for a little bit of a loop. Uh, but again, we didn't get the second goal and we ended up tying.